Welcome back everyone. You may be having some issues where move to iOS just isn't working. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing I would recommend doing though is making your way back into the app store and making sure you're on the most recent version of the software. Now I don't think they update this app all that often but if there is a little update button here you want to go and update this app and that should fix a little bit of it. Not all of it completely but that should fix some issues here and there. Now, as long as you're updated, the next thing I would recommend doing is making sure that the iPhone that you're moving to, so let's say I was moving to this iPhone and I was on the setup panel or whatever, you want to make sure you're not configuring and moving around too much on either one of these devices. On some panels on move to iOS, sometimes it tells you you can move, you can use your phone or whatever, but if you're actually going through, I would recommend just leaving your phones as they are, making sure they're close to each other and making sure they're connected to the same Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that good stuff. At the same time, I would recommend making sure at the same time, I would recommend in making sure that neither of these phones power off. So you might as well go ahead and charge up and keep your iPhone and your Android charged up. That way you can pretty much make sure none of those issues are going to happen, that it's going to power down and anything like that. Now, a lot of the issues that happen after this are typically due to the phones turning off they randomly lose signal, different things like that. So if you have a bunch of files, if you're having if you're having to send like hundreds of gigabytes from one phone to the other, that's where you're going to have a lot of issues typically. So making sure the phones are charged up and making sure they're all signals, everything good, then you probably won't have too many issues there. If you're still having issues, I would recommend going through and uninstalling Move to iOS. So go ahead and just uninstall it and then re-download it and then reinstall it. And typically you should be good to go for the most part. If you're still having issues, I would recommend contacting Apple and having them kind of configure it from there. But typically you should be good to go and it's pretty much fixed it for me anytime I did this. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.